Hey everybody, I have some ideas um, to help you through Detox Week. These are just a few tips that might work for me or somebody else. And if you guys want to, comment below because I'm sure that other people have detoxed before or might even just come up with their own ideas this week. So it'll be really fun to share. Um, so the first thing is coffee. Oh my gosh. So we did mention this before, but if you do get twinges of headaches and we're trying to stay away from caffeine or coffee, there's a couple of options. We already talked about the fact that it's your choice. If you want to go to organic coffee and just a little bit of that caffeine could take care of the headache without having to go to Advil or Tylenol, but organic is going to be so important. Um, and honestly, you'll get through that in like a day or two, but just trying to stay away from the other caffeinated beverages would be really good. The other thing that you want to remember is to drink a lot of water. So filtered or distilled, if it's not in plastic, is going to be best for you this week. And um, remembering that headaches too, sometimes whether it's alcohol or sweeteners or the caffeine and stuff, I mean, your head is pounding in a dehydrated state basically, and you need that fluid um, flowing through your body. So I use a trick with um, hair bands from my kids and I just wrap at least three or four of them around the water bottle and then every time that I finish the water bottle and I go to refill it, I pull off one of the hair bands so I can keep track. So if my goal, if it's a 20 ounce bottle, is to drink 80 ounces of water, I'm going to put four bands on there. If I feel like that's too much for me, I'm going to start with three and I'm just going to kind of go from there so at least you can make sure. Now half of your body weight in ounces, so if you weigh 150 pounds, 75 pounds is sort of the target for water to drink so you may just want to keep that in mind but if you're not used to drinking a lot of water at all that's way too much for you to start with um, so you just kind of want to work up to that and set some goals and then you can kind of keep your barometer of how much water you're drinking if you're not already tracking what you're eating um, soups and food prep is huge so I think you probably saw a lot of people they made egg cups which is a great idea cut up veggies yesterday I made a salmon pate and it's not even on my detox recipes it was really easy it was just salmon that I had grilled that was left over I put in a little bit of liquid smoke and I put in some um, avocado or guacamole that was already made and some lemon juice and I just blended it up um, oh and a little bit of olive oil and now it's a pate that I can put on cut cucumbers as a snack for the day and hopefully I'll take a picture of that for you later um but when you have the veggies that are cut up and everything looks really pretty, it's a good one. Um, the other thing are dill tomatoes. And if you like, excuse me, um, the cherry tomatoes and if you like the flavor of dill, if you just wash um, the grape tomatoes and then you put fresh or jarred dill on it with some sea salt or Himalayan salt and you keep them in the fridge, you'd be surprised. But when you're looking for crunchy and salty, that's a really good way to get rid of the flavor um, craving that you're looking for because it has both sweet because tomatoes are technically a fruit but they're really small and you'll also get that salt crunch and the dill just makes it taste really really good um, the other thing is if you do juice be careful about juicing especially if you have blood sugar issues and we're gonna go into a whole other video on that but having a juice pre-made let's say it has a little green apple and pineapple as the fruit in it but it's a lot of green vegetables it may be a great way for you to get a little bit of extra kick of sugar because in a mason jar just one juice like that could last you up to three days. So when you're just looking for a quick shot of something to get your blood sugar up, um, that could be a really good answer. We also love to have smoothies. So we just, you know, any kind of berries with green vegetables with ice and even a little bit of coconut milk if it's unsweetened this week is totally fine to make a good smoothie. Um, remembering that we're staying away from whey protein and anything that's dairy based, one of my suggestions is to find collagen protein powder. I'll try to put a link on there for you. I've used Bulletproof um, collagen before and we're asking TLS to come up with one for us, but we haven't gotten that yet. So that's a good idea. And also lettuce wraps. So anytime I have leftover chicken, you know, or shrimp or scallops or something that I might have made for dinner. What I do is I chop those up. Let's say you take shrimp and you put a little mango salsa with it. It's in a bowl, a glass bowl in your fridge. And so then you can just anytime take iceberg lettuce and use those as lettuce wraps. I don't even know what the purpose of iceberg lettuce is other than to use them for lettuce wraps or sandwiches, but putting some lean turkey or chicken from the night before just in a lettuce wrap with some veggies or something and avocado or guacamole is awesome. Or like I said, you take shrimp with some mango salsa Salsa and you put that together um, you know uh, my kids had some taco meat but we make it homemade with like cumin and garlic and no other weird you know salty spices and you know you can put a little bit of that into a, a lettuce wrap and so you get a little bit of protein on the go and those are really easy to just be able to take a bite of um, similar to how you have soups and stuff like that if you haven't tried 
um, some of the recipes. The ones that I just literally posted, which will be below this video, um, are really good. Like the stuffed mushroom cap or the grilled mushroom cap that you can put roasted red pepper sauce in, or you can put sauteed or roasted veggies, or you could even put like crab dip or something like that that you've made homemade. Um, are so good that tastes like you're having a steak. There's no reason why somebody should be hungry if you're doing all of these things. One of the questions came up again about herbal teas, which are 100% great. There's detox teas, there's uh, smooth move. Um, if you're having trouble going to the bathroom, there's kombucha, which is great for detox and for your belly. There's green tea. And of course, decaffeinated is best, but if you felt like you needed a little bit of caffeine, an herbal tea would be a great way to go. Um, so if you're hungry, try to go with more veggies, try to go with more water, uh, make sure you've had, you know, your fruit, which will get up your blood sugar a little bit. But then after that, if you need to add a little extra protein or fat, that's going to just keep your head in a really great place. Um, so preparing ahead of time is good. Also rewatch the videos. I know that, you know, they're all about six minutes or so, maybe four to six minutes, but they don't take long. And I don't think that everybody gets all the information the first time you listen. So scroll back and, um, read people's comments, get some ideas and, um, rewatch the videos, do some light exercise for your head. That will make you feel like you're, you know, in a good place in terms of eating. If you did some yoga or some light walking at lunch or grab a buddy to do that. And most important is get sleep. Your body wants to shut you down at 10 o'clock. So if you're one of those people that likes to stay up late, know that you're going to crave more the next day and that also your cortisol levels are going to go up. So after about 10 o'clock, your cortisol is through the roof and that's what you're living on at that point. And that is a stress hormone that's also a store fat hormone. So that will slow down your progress and make you want to eat. So sometimes if I'm hungry or whatever, it's really psychological and I'll just put myself to bed by 10 o'clock and say, if my body wakes me up because I'm physically hungry, I will absolutely get up and get something to eat, but most of the time I'm just going to fall asleep. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to feel great the next day and feel like I've accomplished something. So I hope some of these tips help you guys and uh, have a great detox week.